My name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and don't you forget to subscribe to me. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a big giveaway, so hopefully you will subscribe and get to watch my future uploads. For today, I'm going to go in with some of my favorite products that I've been using for quite some time, and they're my everyday go-tos. I've been loving this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. It's only $2.00. Here's what it looks like. Go in and apply that on my lids. I have had this for quite some time and for $2 it's been lasting me a couple months already and I do my eyes every day. With this I'm going to go in and tap it with my fingers. Make sure it's all over the lid. And as that is drying I'm going to go in with one of my favorite eyebrow pencils. It is LA Girl Shady Slim in medium brown. And my favorite palette is Going Coconuts from ColourPop. It has all perfect everyday natural nude colors all the way from white to dark brown and in the middle it has all the shimmers i'm going to go in with my favorite eye blending brush to blend in the colors in my crease it is the sigma e40 I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner and slowly blending it in Go for more of a nude look today. I tend to get the most compliments when I go in with more of a natural look. I'm gonna go in now with Shell Yeah. Looks like this. Just to deepen it up a little bit more. Also focusing most of the pigment on the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with Nutty, this dark brown, just on the outer crease. I'm just going to tap it right on. And then with a small circle motions, blend it out. Now with this white color, I'm going to go around the edges just to make sure everything is blended out and no harsh lines. Now with my finger, I'm going to go in with Coco Rush, this gold shimmer right here with my finger. And just tap it right onto the middle of the eye. Now with my pinky, I'm going to go in with Palm Reader, which is this white one just on the inner corner of my eye, and just tap it right on the inside. And this time I'm going to go in with my brush to make sure everything's blended in together seamlessly. Now, one of my favorite liquid eyeliners has been from Essence. I've been using this for about a year and a half, and I keep testing out other ones, and I just keep coming back to this one. It is Essence Super Precise 
eyeliner. It is long lasting and waterproof. When you apply your liquid eyeliner, you should always tilt your head just a little bit back and look down into your mirror. It applies much better that way. It is a very sticky primer and it makes the foundation grip all day. It smells like fruit, like strawberries. I just put on one thin layer, one pump for the whole face and slowly work it in as that is drying. The foundation that I'm going to use today is one of my favorites for the past about three years. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. It is full coverage. I only have to go in with one layer on my face. I'm gonna take my beauty blender, start tapping that in. Now while I'm waiting for the foundation, to set, I'm going to go in with my Cream Blush in ELF. This is the color Bahamas. It has been one of my absolute favorites. I take my Sigma Around Kabuki and just blend it right into the cheeks. My favorite concealer has been from NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. Doesn't seem to crease or anything like the others do. Just put it in the middle of my face to brighten up everything and then I take my blender and I just slowly work that in. Now to set the under eyes before they start to crease, I'm going to go in with the Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. Just dip the sponge right in there and tap it right under the eyes. I'm just going to set everywhere I put that concealer. Now with a bigger brush, it is the Luxie 502 Large Powder. I'm going to go in with the number seven powder. And just take a little bit and set my face. It helps so it doesn't rub off on the inside of your mask at work during the day. It helps your makeup last a lot longer. Now one of my full face palettes with blush highlights and bronzer is from Tardis Pro Glow. I could not live without this palette. My mom and I had to get about five, so we have plenty of backups just in case they ever change the formula. I'm going to go in with Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, but it has a nice small tip. So I'm going to go in with the blushes and just set that. right up the side of my face. It helps lift your face. Now from AOA Studio, these brushes, they come in a whole pack and they also sell beauty blenders for only a dollar. So if you go to AOA Studio, I will have the link in the description box. They have really great deals all the time and dupes for really expensive palettes and products. I'm going to go in with the bronzer and just go right from the middle of my cheek up and just work that right in here with circular motions. 
just put it right underneath your blush from about the top of your ear down halfway a little bit down the sides of my nose sides where my temple is just for a little shadow I like to go on my jawline bring it down just a little bit so we don't want to look like we have a mask on that is very important we don't do that because it would look horrible okay now blend it up with your hairline usually just circle it and make sure most of it goes in and when your hair looks like this that means you're doing it right it's blending right in with your hair okay, under your bottom lip my all-time favorite highlighter is from Becca it is in the color champagne pop here on the top of my cheekbones a little bit on the top of my eyebrow both sides right here in the middle down the center of my nose always get the cupid's bow bit on the chin. When I did that, I go back in with the sponge and just make sure everything's blended together. We don't want harsh lines with anything. I'm going to go in one more time with the Going Coconuts palette just to put some color on the lower lash line. One of my favorite brushes to do this is the Morphe E36. It has a very small tip. And I'm going to go in with the Shell Yeah. Just tap it and run it just along your lashes. And just to darken the outer corner, I'm just going to dip my brush right in the dark brown and just a little bit in the corners. Then I'm going to take a clean brush. This is the Sephora Pro Tapered Crease. And just smoke this out so it doesn't look like a harsh line. I just want it smoked out just a little bit. The Benefit Blush in the name Tickle looks like this and has pink with gold shimmer. I take a little brush from AOA Studio again and just tap it in there. Just put it right over my blush for a little bit extra sparkle. And then I'm going to go back into the highlight with a little brush just to put a little bit under my eyebrows to make them pop just a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes my favorite setting spray of all time has been the NYX bear with me it has such a nice spray and it you push down it's continuous it feels so cool and it smells fresh it doesn't have a harsh scent but it smells phenomenal that is my go-to setting spray every day my favorite mascara has been from l'oreal the bambi mascara it doesn't seem to clump my eyelashes it gives the volume and the length that i like in my lash put one layer on this side then i go to this one and then i go back with two layers all together with the bottom lashes, I just go in and just wiggle it just a little bit to ensure I get every lash. And do the same thing with the top lashes. My favorite lip liner is from Milani in 240 Shoop. It is a nice chocolate brown. So I'm just going to go in with my lips and line them before my lipstick. It applies very well. You barely have to push down and it sets off a lot of pigment. And for lipstick, I have the L'Oreal Paris in shade 806 Natitude. And this is also my favorite lipstick. I go to it every time. I just had to buy a new one because I ran out of my old one. 
It gives you the perfect nude lip with every look. Okay, and for one last time, I'm gonna go back in with the NYX Bear With Me Prime and Set Spray. I just give it a couple waves. And this is today's look. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I hope you subscribe. And again, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a pretty big giveaway. So I will see you on my next video, and I hope you all have a great night. Bye.